हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू पावर प्लांट गुरु यूट्यूब चैनल फ्रेंड्स द टूडेज टॉपिक इज ग्लैंड स्टीम सिस्टम एंड इट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक और कॉन्सेप्ट वाइल यू आर ऑपरेटिंग एनी स्टीम टर्बाइन प्लांट एंड दिस इज अ टॉपिक वेयर इन आई हैव सीन मेनी यंग इंजीनियर्स फेसिंग सम काइंड ऑफ ट्रेवल टू अंडरस्टैंड द सिस्टम but uh, this is a very simple uh, cycle uh, i mean uh, the flow is very simple uh, once you understand it is very clear so uh, we are trying to create a conceptual video on uh, uh, oh, what is the actually uh, meaning of gland we'll start from here and we will uh, i mean explain Uh, how the ceiling steam is provided during startup, and uh, what is the self sealing when the machine is uh, operating at normal load? Then uh, what is the self sealing? So all this uh, concept we will explain in this video. So let us understand the topic in detail. Welcome, friends, to Power Plant Guru YouTube channel. friends i am a mechanical engineer with around 20 years of experience in the field of power plant and i used to create small fundamental knowledge series videos for power plant engineers we also run doubt clearing sessions on weekends so if you want to reach us you can reach us through comment section and join our weekend classes let us continue to watch our today's video so friends uh, we are in the chapters of steam turbine we are covering different topics so i think uh, in all these videos we have created up till now and we are here and we are introducing this based on uh, request from our different viewers so that is why we are taking this uh, now earlier there was some other sequence but now we are going to talk about gland steam system you can watch all these videos in our uh, playlist you can go and uh, have a look on this video so friends uh, yeah. first of all let us understand uh, what is the need of this gland sealing system and what is the gland in fact so uh, this is a image of a large uh, gas turbine but uh, let me give a very small example let us uh, vary with a simple sketch let's say this is a turbine rotor and there are some uh, uh, blades on it so this will be kind of a rotating blades uh, uh, kind of arrangement wherein uh, if i uh, if you imagine uh, a casing will be placed on it so there will be some stationary blades also coming in in between so if just imagine if there is a, a high pressure steam coming along in this path sorry not this path this way i'm very sorry this is wrong so uh, if you imagine the steam coming in this path so what will happen uh, there will be a room of escape of this steam from this side because uh, this shaft uh, will by the steam steam will be here here everywhere there will be steam and this is the low pressure area this is the high pressure area so steam has a general tendency to move from uh, uh, high pressure to low pressure but here uh, from the uh, static to rotary part there will be always some clearances so those clearances will allow steam to pass so this is what we can say is the gland leak or gland uh, steam so now coming to this uh, image uh, which we are using to explain so this is a first uh, set of wheels so this is hp turbine maybe hp ip and lp you know uh, all three stages so imagine the steam come out from this side and uh, passing through this or i mean from all the 360 degree periphery 
and uh, there are uh, these rotating blades and in between there are static blades which are mount your uh, static casing top casing and bottom casing so once uh, steam travel from here to here uh, then steam has to go from this place to come again uh, here for ip casing but it will try to pass through this phase as well because it is a general tendency wherever there is a uh, passage steam will try to escape from there as this uh, surface has to give some clearances otherwise it will not be able to move so there are some clearances bound to happen so these are the location from which the gland steam will escape and that is why there is a need of gland steam or gland packing or gland seals so in a smaller equipment uh, like in a pump as well uh, there will be gland packing to restrain fluid coming from out and in larger equipment there will be gland seals how a gland seal will look like that also we will show in a different image so how the gland steam looks like we will show so this is how the concept of uh, how why gland steam try to escape and why there is a leakage so it will happen from all the places where there is stationary part and rotating part coming into picture so here also there will be some leaks here also there will be some leaks and at the LP end which is not shown in this picture but let us assume if uh, this shaft is going to continue till here then here also there will be LP side where steam will be escaping uh, and there is a different angle to it you know on LP side specifically imagine on LP side there is a condenser connected or vacuum is there so what will happen so air will find its way and come along with this gland packing uh, from atmosphere to uh, inside turbine because there is a vacuum so here at LP side there will be air leakages coming in and this will happen when there is a permanent a full vacuum established before that when you are uh, just uh, having uh, steam charged in and there is no kind of uh, vacuum pulled out so you will see the uh, steam coming out from gland side of LP as well as just both the sides so hope I have explained what is the need and the purpose of gland sealing system now at this particular uh, diagram i understand many of you or uh, have not be wrong if i say all of you have seen this uh, kind of uh, pnids or uh, sketches in uh, diagrams in dcs while controlling it so let us understand it uh, so uh, i will take a situation when you are starting the machine when we are in the startup phase so what will happen in startup phase you are about to charge the steam let us take that situation and you are about to charge the steam there is no steam uh, inside the turbine so there is no leakage but if you start pulling the vacuum so if you start pulling the vacuum uh, then what will happen the air will go from these LP side glands from these LP side glands air will be going in because as we have seen there will be always clearances between these uh, static part and the rotating part so there is a chances of air going in so that is why uh, it is a practice of charging uh, gland steam uh, just a little bit of uh, pressure before pulling the vacuum so what will happen during startup just pull uh, just push some steam from here or other side as well it will go to both the side so that whenever you are pulling the vacuum you are starting your hogger and ejectors so instead of air instead of air there is some steam going in and that will improve on progress of vacuum pulling so that is why initially some steam is charged okay 
now let us see uh, when you are charging the steam that is and there is another purpose while we do it in the starting so let's uh, imagine a condition when you are starting the machine or rolling up the machine so what will happen uh, steam will find a, a kind of a, a space in the rotor and uh, you know your uh, stationary blades the passage so what will happen again there will be chance of uh, kind of steam leaking here from the gland so if you have charged your steam during the startup how you uh, then uh, sorry if you have your steam here so this steam will create some amount of pressure maybe some mm water column 200 or 3 mm water column so that will also not allow these steams to escape so then you have in beginning uh, you don't have it uh, I mean you are not along your in turbine uh, steam to come out because you have already created some resistance by this gland steam at this place so then you are uh, doing some sort of uh, efficiency enhancement uh, by pushing this steam gland steam here so how you do it so uh, there is a kind of auxiliary steam supplied uh, in any in, uh, in any of the power plant wherein you push uh, some uh, kind of uh, MP steam medium pressure or uh, 16 to 18 kg or bar uh, steam you push and that goes in a gland steam uh, some people call it header some people call it uh, receiver then it goes in that uh, system and from here during the startup it, it flows like this it uh, create uh, some kind of pressure uh, here in both the ends on HP and LP and both HP and LP ends so uh, during that startup uh, process uh, the steam flows like this and let us say there is a uh, this pressure remain goes higher uh, during rolling up or uh, the system supply so these they, these walls uh, these two valves work in tandem so these uh, both valves keeps on controlling the steam uh, pressure inside this header and if there is a higher pressure then this steam goes to condenser so as you recover that steam as well so it goes to main condenser and it is not shown here but there are uh, one uh, safety valve also installed uh, on this uh, gland steam header so uh, the control pressure control is like this this supplies uh, steam to maintain some pressure here and if it, this pressure uh, goes higher this uh, is diverting the steam to the condenser so as you recover also and now let us uh, consider a case wherein uh, uh, your turbine is now started and stabilize and you are running at some load then what will happen the pressure uh, will increase inside the uh, wheel chamber or inside the casing of turbine as you uh, flow some more steam in the space to get more load out of it so what will happen this uh, steam which is which was supposed to come from this HP side this will increase and this will in increase little slowly 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 and once this H uh, this uh, earlier gland steam supply pressure whatever it was at some point of time the gland steam which is coming out from HP gland this pressure will be higher so now what will happen the flow which was going in that way now it will return and there will be flow in the opposite direction as the turbine load increases so what will happen earlier the steam was like this now uh, the steam will coming like this now what will happen this circuit will be like this now it is coming here so it has to come here in this uh, your uh, gland steam header but what will happen here HP side here LP side here is your low pressure I mean low pressure means lower than atmosphere I mean vacuum pressure so this steam will try to find its way like this so there is some leakage and there is some requirement wherein you have to push steam otherwise it will suck the air from atmosphere 
so this space has to be filled by steam otherwise it is going to deteriorate your vacuum so this will this path will be established something is leaking from hp side and that is going in your lp side so this is called your self sealing stage you got it uh, earlier we were supplying steam to seal both ends now there is a substantial leakage coming in from hp side and that is feeding the requirement of lp side so it is a self sufficient system and that is called self sealing stage of clamped steam and let us consider another situation wherein whatever hp side uh, steam is coming out and lp is consuming but still there is something steam extra than that so what will happen those steam that quantity of steam we have to utilize so that steam will come to your gland uh, gland steam gland steam condenser so whatever that steam is coming into gland steam condenser there is a heat recovery opportunity also so uh, the cp water which is pulling water from condensate that will pass through this gland steam condenser so whatever steam which was excess from self sealing system that will be condensed that will be condensed in your uh, in your gland steam condenser then it can be routed to condenser as well and whatever steam it is utilizing sorry whatever cold water it is utilizing that will gain that heat from uh, this hot uh, steam and that will go to deaerator as a uh, hot uh, water hot means whatever uh, the heat gain uh, delta t it gains between cp to uh, deaerator water uh, gland steam condenser outlet so that is a way to utilize that heat and then water is recovered and put to to condenser as well at some plants uh, this uh, there is a as this is a condenser there will be some non condensable gases as well present in this system so if we have to put a kind of a ejector or a vacuum pump there that keeps maintaining the vacuum uh, here but in some cases uh, this motor will be there some cases there will be ejector and steam passing through so some kind of ejector will be there to steam uh, exchange so if there is a motor that will lead to some aux power consumption and if motor is replaced by ejector so that will be used by steam uh, run by steam so you have low aux power consumption so this is the difference between two setup in a large setup you may find a ejector in a small setup you may find a small motor as well so this is the entire uh, story of uh, you know gland steam system and uh, i think i had tried to explain you uh, everything about it if you still have any questions please uh, feel free to ask those questions in the comment section Thank you thank you very much for uh, hearing me out